Hello folks, I'm Abfielder and welcome to the second video in my series of bite-sized Minecraft tutorials. Today we're going to take a look at the different game modes in Minecraft and there are four of them that we're going to be taking a look at. The first mode that we're going to look at then is Adventure Mode. Now I've never actually played in this mode. I know what it does but I've never had a need to use it. You most commonly might use this if you've downloaded some fancy map off the internet and you're playing it with your friends in more of a role-playing style then this is probably the mode that you would play it in. Now in adventure mode, you can tour the world, you can take damage like that. If I jump off here, you still need to eat food. You'll starve if you don't, but you can't change the environment. Like I can't break these blocks. I can't even place blocks. So it's a way of playing a map without being able to damage it. You can, however, still interact with some components in the world. So if you have redstone, for example, that has levers or buttons, you can interact with those. You can open chests and put items in and take them out. And if there wasn't a block on that shulker, which is for the next section, you'd be able to open that as well. So that is adventure mode. The second mode we're going to look at then is spectator mode. Now, if I use the F5 key, I'm in Java Minecraft at the moment. You'll see my head there. It's kind of transparent and I don't have a body. In this mode, you can't take any damage. You don't need to eat. You can't really interact with the world apart from two things. And I'll show you those in a moment. Spectator mode really is for flying around your world and taking a look at things. You can also, if you want, fly through blocks and take a look underground, for example, and find if there's any structures nearby. There's some uh, mine shafts down there by the looks of it. I said you can't interact with the world. There are actually a couple of things you can interact with whilst in spectator mode. You can't do anything with them. You can only look, but it is super useful. First one is chests. That's pretty useful. The second one now, if you're building a complex farm, it's got a shulker loader or whatever on it, you normally can't look what's in the shulker box. Like if there's a block on top of it, you can't open it. You can't see what's inside of it. In spectator mode, click on it. It doesn't open. You can't take any items out. If I do that, I can't do anything, but I can see what's inside and that is absolutely one of the most useful features ever when debugging stuff in Minecraft. So those are the two modes that you probably won't use all that much. What about the other two modes that you're gonna spend the majority of your Minecraft time in? The first one is creative mode then, and that's like digital Lego, except you're Richie Rich and you've got every single block in the world. I use creative mode to design my builds. I find it easier in creative mode because I've got access to every single block. I haven't got to worry about mobs. I haven't got to worry about eating. It makes it far easier for me to design things. I then go into my survival world and rebuild them in survival where I have to go and get all the resources and what have you. Some people will spend all of their Minecraft time in creative mode because they just love being creative, building spectacular builds and don't care about the survival aspect. And that's perfectly okay. If that's how you enjoy playing Minecraft, then do it. The other reason that you would use this is maybe you are brand new to the game or you're a young child and you want to learn how to play the game without worrying about death and things this is another good way to do it so if we just quickly look in our inventory you literally can search all the items they're split up into categories if you want and you can literally just drop them into your hotbar it doesn't matter that we've only got one you can just keep placing them and you can also fly around. It just makes placing blocks super easy. So that is creative mode. Great for builders, great for designing things. But it's not where I spend most of my time in Minecraft. The last mode then is survival mode. And this is the mode that I reckon the vast majority of people watching this video will spend most of their Minecraft time. In this mode, you have to uh, mine for your resources and then craft them into useful things. If you need food, you're going to have to kill cows or maybe go vegetarian, break some grass and quickly get some seeds. There we go. And if you want to build amazing things, you need to mine all those resources or you can build the super complex farms I've briefly mentioned and gather those resources a bit more automatically, but they take time to build. It's superb and it's also life consuming. So it be aware of that before you pick this mode. As I said, it's my favorite mode in Minecraft. I hope you found this video useful. I just want to say a big thank you to my Patreons. They help keep the Abcraft server completely free to play on. You can come join if you've got Java Minecraft. Just join my Discord. Link is in the description below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing and hit the alert button so you get notifications when more of these bite-sized tutorials drop. I know we're covering basics at the moment, but we will get onto more complex subjects as the series progresses. Anyway, for now, folks, that's all I have time for. I'm Ab Fielder. Goodbye.